Hello there, listener. I see joblessness has been itching your body small. But don't worry, I have the kill. My name is Yimeka Awaje, and it is my pleasure to present to you news straight out of the Calabash. My God, I should have been a rapper. The major news headlines are Kaboom in Kenya, Chinko Dealings, Mission Impossible, Indestructible, Little Problem, Gallant Ambassador, Game of Headies, Justice is Death, Baby Mama Drama, Everybody Hates Trump, School of the Rainbow, Predator, Tanzanian Devils, Disney Groove, Chillin', We Gon' Light It Up, A Dog's World, and Crash Daniel. And now, onto the stories. Kaboom in Kenya. On the 26th of December, it was reported that a roadside bomb was detonated in the northern town of Madera, Kenya. The bomb, however, only claimed the life of one of the incompetent terrorists planting it, who panicked when he was spotted by a police officer and chose to fiddle with the bomb, which unfortunately for him was Kenyan enough to run out of time. Get it? Run? Yeah, okay. ISIS released a statement saying that they had never seen more shoddy workmanship and are wholly disappointed by the state of terrorism in Kenya. Now we can only hope that Nigeria can please exchange Boko Haram with their own terrorists. Chinko Dealings China is looking to purchase a gigantic attack hovercraft from Russia. They plan to hold a grand party upon its purchase. When asked why, a government representative replied saying, It's not every day we have a vehicle that's not made in China in China, especially one that runs on vodka. They seem confident about this bargain, as they have negotiated that 1 million technos will be exchanged for said hovercraft. Woohoo, hooray, and yahoo are three of the many executives involved in this deal. Mission Impossible. Back in August, President Bubu gave Nigerians an ultimatum, which was that he would totally and utterly destroy the group of insurgents popularly known as Boko Haram before the end of the year. But this goal unfortunately was not met. When we approached the Minister of Defense, he said, all attempts to dismantle the organization has blown up in our faces. Indestructible. It has been brought to our attention that professional video vixens, <coughs> sorry, I meant B list celebrities, B Red, Sun Tizzle, and Scales, have made attempts to join the terrorist group known as Boko Haram. But fortunately, they were rejected as Shekhar returned them saying, Boko Haram has no need for people who cannot blow. Come on. Little problem. A Malaysian man, having ordered the manhood and larger from an online store, was surprised when he saw what came in the mail was a magnifying glass. He voiced his dissatisfaction, telling the customer care department of the online store that he felt very cheated. So, as an apology, they sent him an electron microscope. Gallant Ambassador Harry Song has recently been signed as Gala's brand ambassador. This is indeed one of the best matches of brand and brand ambassador as both his albums and Gala are sold in Lagos traffic and the sense in his songs are like the meat in Gala. Non-existent. Game of Headies No car was killed December 31st, 2015 but beef is what we got the 1st of January 2016. The Shepherd Cup of Olamide was spilled as he decided to pull a Kanye snare on everybody. He was deeply pained by the unfair reality that his own Lil Kesh did not win the award for best newcomer, which was snatched by Catapult boy Ricardo Banks, one of Don Jazzy's money printing machines. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I meant children. Don Jazzy later took to the stage and told Olamide that he should Kuku come and collect the card that came with the award. Fatality. This caused Olamide to go on a Twitter rampage, cussing out Don Jazzy with statements like, I am not the bunch! Which has now dragged the poor Kuku master, who was gingerly minding his own business in Lekki, into the matter as he wait for it. Scapegoat. Olamide had told him never to come to the mainland, so Lagos would have been divided between the mavens who have the island and YBNL who have the mainland. It was unclear whether or not the government would have taken note of this change and marked it out on the map. But after all this, they did the thing that nobody, I mean nobody wanted them to do. They apologized to each other. Come on. 
It has been reported that the Daikeji was found weeping when she found out about the makeup and she was planning to use the ad revenue generated from this beef to just buy Banana Island. We'll be back with the news after this commercial break. Are you having problems figuring out which school to enroll your child in? Do you wish that there was a Nigerian school that taught basic subjects like maths, English and middle of the night broomstick flying? Well, look no further than Hogwarts International Nursery and Primary School. Here at Hogwarts International, we only aim for excellence in your child. By age 5, all our students can already read, write and cross a nearby family's generation with ease. And by primary 6, not only can our students take common entrance confidently, but they can also turn into cats, vultures and yam tubers. We can boast of an extensive array of sports facilities from our Quidditch field to our charm basketball courts that can eat your destiny. Everything here is state of the art. Even our teachers are the cream of the crop as they have become household names. Some of our staff include Ojuju Kalaba, Professor Bush Baby, and Madam Koi Koi as teachers, and Mrs. Karishika as our headmistress. You can be sure that here in Hogwarts International, your child is being given the best education possible. For inquiries, call us at 081-666-666-666. And if you wish to check out our facilities, you can locate us at number 7 Evil Forest Way, Edo State, Nigeria. Please note, we do not accept pastor's children. Thank you. And we're back. Justice is deaf. In the U.S., it was reported that a deaf man had saved the deer from certain death as it was drowning in an ice-cold lake. This promptly brought him into the limelight as a hero, but apparently this was not the case as one of our correspondents, who is very fluent in deer, reported that this was actually an attempt by the deer community to execute the deer as it was a well-known fun molester. And now there's a deep unrest in the deer community as what they still identify as a soulless monster is still out there, ready to fondle unsuspecting victims. Baby Mama Drama Singer Davido and his family have entered Gobe with the Momodus over his love child, Imadi, whose other names given to her by her mother are Idon Hama and Kaching. Apparently, ever since the middle of last year, the child was taken away from her mother, Sophia, when she was invited to Davido's sister's house. She was even tossed out of the house without being offered a soft drink. Can you imagine that? Sophia has been crying every day since that event occurred, as the breast milk she is no longer feeding Imade has to go somewhere, I guess. The Adele case, however, are singing a different tune as they claim that the baby had enormous amounts of cannabis present in her system when they first acquired her. This brings the suggestion that Sophia had been doing weed while breastfeeding her baby. So it is safe to say that Imade was high on breast milk. Everybody hates Trump. Terrorist group Al Shabaab was outraged by Donald Trump's speech in which he stated that all Muslims should be banned from entering the US. Now the whole world can agree on something, and it's that that man with cotton wool for hair should find a better use for his mouth that involves not using it in the first place. School of the Rainbow Recently, a new school has surfaced. A school that promotes peace and unity, no matter your race, sexuality, or taste in music. What do you have to do to get into this place where discrimination is seemingly absent? Well, you just have to be gay or a transvestite. Yeah, so much for no discrimination, right? Predator Tiger is on the prowl again, people, and he's looking for younger blood. Recently, it has been exposed by OK Magazine that his latest prey is 14-year-old model Molly O'Malia. As she was very upset by him sending her messages on Instagram, telling her to FaceTime with him. She revealed to one of our reporters that she felt as if she could have done better than Tiger, who was, in her words, broke than Justin Bieber's heart when Selena Gomez was done with it. She complained, saying that it was even enough that she had to Google who he was when she said hi to him the first time. And of all the rappers that had to hit on her, why did it have to be Tiger? Well, it could have been worse. It could have been Soldier Boy. 
Tanzanian devils. Rapper Techno has deleted all his Instagram photos as fans from Tanzania have proceeded to decorate the comment sections of his uploaded pictures telling him to rest in peace. This was sparked by a picture which he took with Tanzanian star Lulu Elizabeth who had the reputation of all her exes expiring shortly after she dated them. Here at News Straight Out of the Calabash, we deeply care for Techno, so we offer him these nuggets of wisdom. Please, please and please go to Shiloh before the end of this month. After which, you should go for another added dose of EA Adibuyi. Then, go for a nice visual at Mountain of Fire Ministries. That should help. We really care about you. Disney Grooving Disney has set a new record with their latest hit, Star Wars The Force Awakens, as it has become the highest grossing film in history, surpassing Avatar, aka, you know, that Blue Monkey film that you watched a while back, yeah, that one. We here at News Straight Out of the Calabash went to the famed Walt Disney head office in Burbank, California and tried to obtain a statement from the current CEO of Disney. But on getting to the office, we were met with a party where they were playing the following song. It brings us great joy to announce that Netflix is finally in Nigeria. So now, instead of giving your significant other the Roku and the Coco, now you can do Netflix and chill. And as soon as data plans become infinite, we have only one thing to say. R.I.P. DSTV, we won't miss you. We gon' light it up. It has been reported that on the 7th of January, an explosion occurred at the home of Bielsa State House of Assembly Speaker Honorable Friday Benson. The cause of the explosion is believed to have been dynamite. And with that said, Tyro Cruz has been brought in for questioning. Like it's, it's a dog's world. U.S. officials have confirmed that the plot to kidnap one of Obama's dogs from the White House by Mr. Scott Stockers, who had a shotgun, a cutlass, some seasoning, and a pot in his possession, has been foiled. He later claimed to have been the son of past president John F. Kennedy and actress Marilyn Monroe. Which is obviously untrue. Really, we have a white Calabar man on our hands in this case. Crash Daniels. Fast and Furious 8 has a new cast member, and his name is Kiss Daniels. Kiss was fiddling with his phone and trying to do Vin Diesel and drop over a canal in Lagos. I know what some of you are thinking. Well, did he make it? And the answer to that question is... So, that is all the news that we have for you guys this time around. So, we leave you now to listen to this awesome song. Enjoy. Our lives for some reason are not what they're meant to be. Conveniently, we fail to see the you and me. We hold the keys, all the happiness we need. We've got within, take it from me. We're all we need. If I go sitting in front of home, Nobody's gonna make that door for you ooh. Nobody's gonna love your wife for you ooh. Nobody's gonna live your life for you But all the same If I call sin for the I'm a gun in Danila No worries brother Take life one step at a time And I promise you'll be fine News Straight Out of Calabash is a Nigerian parody news podcast produced by Mass Digital. All of the sources we claim to get our news from are unreliable as DSTV signal in the way. So essentially, what we are saying is we get our information from Neda Ikeji. The news was narrated by Yimika Owaji. The Hogwarts International School advert was performed by Betty Gossi. The song we played was Nobody by Arife. You can check out more of his music at ReverbNation.com forward slash Arife. That is E-R-I-I-F-E. If you want to stalk us or keep up with future episodes and updates on other projects from Mass District, our handles are at the Mad District and at the Mad District NG for Instagram and Twitter respectively. Would you like us to play your music for the next podcast? If yes, you can contact us on any of our pages or you can send an email to maddistrict.ng at gmail.com. If you enjoyed this podcast, leave us a positive review on iTunes. And finally, please share this with your family and friends so we won't eventually end up in Yaba Lem because our parents think we are mad people here wasting our time. And remember, anything you heard here, you got it straight out of the calabash. Find funny that we live on convenience. Necessity, tell me what we gon' do